This is a portable hand crank generator. What does it do? Well, it's designed to charge your cell phone. It's designed to power up mini portable devices. Wow, look at that. Wow, it works, works pretty good. So as long as you can keep a constant motion, it will keep a constant charge and a constant power on. So it doesn't work when you rotate it kind of clockwise, so it only works uh, clockwise. All right, so I have a USB voltmeter tool that can show us how much output it's producing. Let's see how much amperage it can produce to power up this uh, USB uh, light. Okay, so the USB light, it can output about 0.1, 4 volts producing at 0.12 amp. Okay, so I have a cell phone right here. Let's see if it can charge it. Let me turn this off. Ah, oh, I don't know. Parker. Ah! Ah! That red LED light shows that it, it is charging. Charging. There we go. Twenty percent. It was that twenty-one percent, but it's not uh, going up any higher. So I I probably have to consistently crank this for about five minutes, ten minutes to get it to charge. Okay, so in order to charge any device effectively, if it, if it spins too fast and too loose, it's not charging and outputting the correct amperage. But if you feel some kind of resistance towards your uh, turning force, then that means it's uh, charging uh, properly. It might output at least 0 0.06 amps on my uh, phone. So that's the highest amperage I've seen right now charging on my phone. Alright, I have a power bank that's at 97% charge. Let's see if this little thing can charge this baby up to 100%. Let's do this. Okay, so it's at 96% right now, and... Outputting 5 volts. 0 0.01. Okay, so it's outputting 0 0.012 amp. Let's see if I can spin it faster. Oh, 98%. Wow. Okay, let's keep on going. Alright, so I have another portable power bank. Uh, let's see how much this thing can output. Okay, so it shows that it's charging right now. We, uh, we got the meter going up and down. Charging at 4 volt, 0 0.07, 0 0.08, 0 0.1. If I go faster, yeah, if, if I go faster, 0.1, it has a lot of resistance right now on the uh, the handle. 0.1 amp, 0.13, 0.14. Okay, so 0.19 is the highest I've seen. I recommend you go get one from eBay or Amazon or Gearbest or AliExpress. You can get this for about two or three dollars. But the only drawback is that you have to wait at least maybe 10 to 30 days to get this to ship to your house. So all in all, I think this is a very neat little toy. It's fun for emergency use. It's not very practical to charge directly to a cell phone. USB flashlight, mm, but 
it's more efficient if you charge it to a power bank. So I really like this device. It was fun. It's uh, very loud and noisy, but I think it's worth it. So I recommend you go get one. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.